you know, when it's early season and you find yourself on a location with deep submerged rocks like this, it is absolutely the best time to throw a jerk bait. What I've got here is a jerk bait from Yoziri. And what makes them so effective is that you keep the bait in the strike zone. It's a slight twitch action that triggers those fish. Now you're not fishing these jerk baits very deep. It's only going down a couple feet, but it's just a twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. And you will be surprised at how many smallmouth you can trigger to come out of these big rocks and just crush that bait. So next time you're in a cold water situation with a lot of big boulders, throw on a jerk bait and hang on. Hey, I'm Dennis LaPelle. That's another tip on Midwest Outdoors. Something about that feeling of a fish on the line that never gets old. We have a walleye chop going this afternoon. So it tends to break up the sun a little bit make the walleyes work a little bit harder in the current, maybe make them a little hungrier. And if that's the case, they tend to be more active feeders. That's been the case this afternoon. From Lake of the Woods, Ontario, I'm Jim Quinn, and that's your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Okay, so today we're gonna set up how to tie a, a Nico rig. So the first thing that I do is, this is 15 pound Samurai braid tied onto my fluorocarbon leader. I'll take this as a little Daiichi hook in a size one out. You go through the eye, come back around, tie an overhand knot, slide that back through your loop, so slide back through your knot, and slide that over the hook. You always want, especially with floral or mono, make sure you wet it and I always like using the, the rings on mine. Um, I did put a nail weight on the front of this here. And then from here, I'll take my hook, slide it under the ring. So that's how you set up a Nico rig. This is Rick Stagowski with another tip on Midwest Outdoors.